Welcome back, any lovers. Today we're checking out Odd Sparks Automation Adventure. This looks adorable. I've heard some really cute things about this that kind of like sparked me up to it. It's like an adventure game, but you have like a lemming style uh, game here where you're like controlling the lemming. So we're going to be hopping here to check out the game for a little while. If you do like it, of course, please check the links down below as always. And if you, of course, like the channel, want to hit that follow button, more than welcome to, or that sub button, whatever the button is down there, hit it. It looks, it looks nice, huh? Let's get my body going here. I like my eye color, actually. Let's hair type. Uh, teeth? Oh, teeth, cool. Actually, teeth's kind of cool. Dude, that's kind of actually a cool color hair. Look at that. It's like black with a dash of green. I kind of like that, actually. Let's go with that color. Clothing. Poncho type. Wait, what's a tail? Wait, 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 wait. What's that? Oh, yeah, I gotta get a tail. Come on. Gotta do the tail, man. Spiderweb. I'm walking in the spiderweb. Oh, I like that. I like that. Oh, I like that. Let's go with, let's go with, uh, for the, was, was the, oh, it's the, my, my pants. Okay. I'm going with red, but I'm going with like a darker red. You know, socks. Gotta go with the soccer socks. Really just gotta look like, you know, as dorky as possible. <laughs> Someone's gonna be so mad at me for saying that. <laughs> They're gonna be like, did you really just call Long Sox Dorky? I'll have you know. Village name, Indyland. Generation seed, um, 8675309. I don't know, I just thought about that. I was like, okay, Jenny. What player in bed am? I may be unstable. Okay. Well, I totally didn't adjust the uh, volume, so it's probably going to be a little loud. It's a calm and quiet day, and you're relaxing on your bench. All of your daily tasks are done, and the warm sun gently lulls you in the midday nap. You dream of an adventure. Of a more exciting life than the one you have right now in the frontier village. When suddenly, an intense crash comes from down the field and wakes you up. I guess it's time to wake up. I think I'll pop on here for a second. I know I already know it's gonna be a little louder when it gets a little bit crazy, so let's just do that. What's this? It's clear there's no way to fix the shed, and you begin to clean up the area. As you as you clean up the debris and shards of wood, you find a gleaming metal object in the middle of the mess. It must have been the thing that crashed into and destroyed your shed. Unsure what it is, you pick up the strange metal object and put it away for now. You should first replace the shed. Don't you hate when someone like Destroys your shed, man. It's a camera story. I had to, you know, fix the camera. I hate when people destroy my shed, man. Open map to find woodsman. There's woodsman right there. Boom. Also woodsman. Oh, oh wow. I just started pressing buttons. I just wanted to... Oh, there we go. I was like, I just wanted to run faster. You're a divine researcher. You're a woodsman. Hi, woodsman. Ooh. Something crashed into your shed? Well, sure. I can teach you how to fix up a new one. The woodsman will help you rebuild the shed, but require some wooden logs. You can get wooden logs from the logger. Don't forget to collect the logs out of the logger or harvest them from bushes around the village. Deliver items uh, to quest givers by picking them in the storage. Mm. So here. Just give me some wooden logs for the loggers. Okay. The logger. I gotta hold it. Boom. Okay. Boom. That was simple. I like that they gave me the logs. Mm -hmm. Complete. Perfect. Here's that sawn timber you need. Now you have to do is achievement shed sawn timber time five times. Oh. Open the build menu. Where's the build menu? B. Oh, that'd be, you know, that'd be useful. Uh, what do I want? I want to face it this way. 
I mean, the shed was over here. We should probably just keep the shed over here, right? I mean, the shed's right there. That's okay. Talk to the divine researcher. Oh, you run on... Okay, so it's not like a run button. You run on roads. Okay. You need my help with a weird thing? I love weird things. Let me see. Oh, what if we poke it right? The strange piece of metal you picked up from the broken shed comes alive. It wraps itself around your broken staff, and suddenly a wealth of information enters your mind. Dazed, you look like at the ancient tablet to the researcher and realize you can understand the ancient writings. The ancient tablet seems particularly wrecked, but you can definitely read some of the text. Something about magic, devastation, a spark. Something about hope. You relay everything to the researcher. You can understand it? This is incredible. Amazing news. I, oh, you must look at the village monument for me. A uh, divine researcher wants you to use your newfound ability to understand divine text to read a few things. First, he wants you to check out the village monument in the middle of the village. Sure. <laughs> Go without me. I'll just slow you down. You can come back and tell me what you find. You hear? Oh, okay. Where's the village monument? That's the giant tree. That's the mayor. That's the village monument. So wrap around. Up, left, right. Mayor. Hi, Mayor. I'm guessing this is the monument. The village monument looms above you, quietly, and with the weight of its years behind it. You extend your hand and the strange metal in your brooch radiates a soft light. Suddenly, the carvings on the stone itself begin to shift into text. You barely have time to understand what you see as writing appears and disappears. You can't catch all the information. Something about being the last SS 7 million, year day, 7 million days ago. The word danger catches your eye. Clearly, the monument is much more than you had assumed. The words settle for a moment. Dangerous levels of corruption, Aether detected. Uh, cleansing pulse routine initiated. You can hear the monument rattle. Something inside is trying to happen, but nothing happens. Aetheric cleansing failed. Function keys missing. Cleansing routine recommended. Danger to life, critical. A piece of stone moves aside to reveal a handful of empty key slots. You should tell the divine research about everything you found. I need a bunch of keys. Gotcha. Can I go this way? I got blocked like right away too. That was a funny thing. I'm poking it with my stick. Yes. Give me. Give me. Thank you. I thought you kind of like to discover everything. See this? Like now I know. Well, that was a berry bush. So if I push around here. A pine sampling. Oh, so I guess the bush. Wait. Leaves. I thought I picked up something else too, didn't I? No, I guess just leaves. You describe everything you've seen when the village monument was activated to the divine researcher. The strange text, the missing spare keys, how it tried to do a cleansing pulse but failed. The divine researcher's natural smile fail, uh, falls as he tries to digest everything. We had individuals explore north, past the woodlands, and even past the mountains. The ones that traveled farthest returned ill and talked about how the magic, the aether itself, felt strange. Some have used the words corrupted. Uh -huh. It would explain a lot if the mon village monument can clean corrupted aether. It did seem odd that this place was so perfect to make a new village in. Sounds like we should turn it on and try it out. The divine researcher believes that the threat described by the village monument is one that should be taken seriously. However, finding an, an, even a single key that no one has ever seen or heard for will be difficult. Nine sounds impossible. It would not be possible to complete this quest for a while. Maybe someone in the village will figure something out as you progress? Sure. Mm -hmm. I suppose we'll have to find the missing spark keys first, and perhaps more. I'll see what I can dig up first in my notes. This village has existed for a few decades now without any problems. I don't think the threat is so immediate that we'll all fall sick out of nowhere. Just be careful in your adventures. Yeah, see, okay, so now the berry bush gives me leaves and a log. So that it does update. I like that. Ta -da, ta -da. All right, so, oh, mm -hmm. but for now, there are lots of ancient shrines that you can translate. I know there's quite a few in the woodlands, perhaps we even reveal more about our mystery. Uh -huh. You're technically not allowed to go out there. It could be quite dangerous, but I won't tell anyone. Oh, okay. The divine researcher wants you to use your newfound ability to understand divine text to read a few things. He now wants you to find and look at the ancient shrine that is the woodland uh, that is in the woodlands, just outside of the village. You can leave the village by the old mine shaft in the northwest. Okay. 
Just keep going through the old mine shaft, and there should be this strange looking little building I call it Ancient Shrines. They get these kooky little golden statue on top. You have my permission to go, so have fun. Oh, okay. So, there. Alright, so just keep on walking. Keep on walking, walking, walking. Alright, so I went through the mine shaft and. It led me here. Feels funny. Ancient Waypoint. A working remnant of ancient technology. Ancient Waypoint are immediately unlocked in the demo. It requires a constant supply of fuel. Use the use the map to teleport to an ancient Oh oh so it's just that's it. A currently unknown remnant of ancient technology. You start looking at the shrine, but as you look closer, it's more evident that it's not actually a shrine, but some kind of machine. You extend your hand with a strange metal, and your brooch radiates a soft light. With a touch, the machine rumbles as it works by itself. After a short moment, the machine stops and displays some writing. From what you can understand, the shrine usually is capable of making something called a stumpy spark. However, it's currently broken and is asking for some items to fix itself. Okay, sure. So I need five wooden logs and one eighth of shard. You can get by hunting animals. You don't know how to hunt, so maybe you can find a corpse somewhere. I mean, I don't really know how to cut down trees either, but whatever. You touch the shrine, and a small hatch opens to reveal a slot to put the items inside. You leave for now. See, I can't really knock these down, so... Can I... The shed, the shed is to do that. Can I... Wrapped something, maybe? I need a... Oh, I need to unlock it by create. Okay, so I need to just find things, I guess. Boulder? No. There's a bush. Okay, so bush, give me wood. Ooh, a dry bush. That's actually all the wood I needed right there. Ironically. Are those bodies? A corpse. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll make an aether shard. Okay. So that one needs an aether shard. This one needs... Oh, that one makes aether shards. This one makes a spruny something. Let's go back down here for a second. Giant tree requires a logger building to harvest. Oh, wow. They're huge, though. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so let's go... Open inventory. Wait, I want to split this though. Control. Boom. There we go. The shrine shows us slowly whirls to life. It takes the items and begins to fix itself. It seems to be running some kind of test and is checking that everything still works. Suddenly, it spits out a rather strange creature in your arms. The shrine notes that the stumpy spark has been immediately activated as parts of the test. The stumpy spark stares at you, and it seems ready and eager to receive instructions. However, before anything can be done, with a puff of magic, the stumpy spark turns into a wooden disc that fits in your hand. With the spark's deactivation successful, the shrine claims that it is now fully operational and is ready to be assigned sparks. The, stra the strange metal in your staff changes, and slots can fit the disc up here. You place it in, the stumpy spark begins to follow you. Oh! Hi, spark! Okay, so equip the spark in the active bar, which is there. Throw. Uh, 
Um, let's see here. Aim mode, you can throw sparks quicking your actives. Okay. And then he lands at that certain part. Oh, I I did I did him dirty. Look at this. Oh, okay. I got you now. Harvest pine trees like that. Oh, did you just kill him? Oh, he just killed him. I mean, I'm not too upset. I'm just saying, it's surprising. logs I call them I'll call them stumpy sparks I love it find a spark slot in a stumpy shrine statue Fill a spot. Now what? Spark slots. So now what? Deliver aether shards? Distiller shrine. Where's that? That's the distiller shrine. Okay, cool. Come on, buddy. Kill it. Yeah, good job. That's right. Killing machine over here. Legit killing machine over here. So cute. So freaking cute. The shrine rolls into life. As it hits the steam as the machine finishes the process, it seems to have refined the aether pellet into aether shards. Okay. Go through the old mine shaft. Examine the ancient outside the village. Solve the mystery of the ancient shrine. Okay. I just did that. So now what? Can I go back and do this stuff now? Giant tree, giant tree, giant tree. Should I go back to the old shard and just chill? Come with me and you'll see a world of pure imagination. Can, can you knock this out? You can. All right, if I give you two, no, I okay. can't do that. I'm gonna say we could just teleport. Guys, okay, go take some. You. Oh, the other one's here. Okay. Let's go back to the village. Complete. We go him. Let's go complete. I go that. There we go. Alright, Grandpa. I completed it. You tell the divine researchers that everything you've seen about the ancient shrine, especially the rather strange creature that came out of it after you fixed it. Oh, they're called sparks, you say. How unusual. Clearly, I have some research to do. They're quite cute. You should show them around. Maybe others in the village will have some thoughts or ideas on them. Oh, okay. Activate the village monument. Let's do it. 
Wait. That's this thing, right? Okay. I don't I don't have a key there though. Can I put him there? No. How I activate a min monument? Let's see. Let's go talk to people. Mason ah. sisters. You have a rocking day. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, woodsman needs something. Let's go. Let's go to the woodsman here. That's the farmer. Or quartermaster. Sorry. Hello. What are those little guys? Sparks, you say. And you get them to do work for you? Hmm. Tell me more. You see his eyes twinkle at the thought of describe the ancient shrine and how the sparks work in one. He mutters something and nods to himself. Oh, I see. Yes, of course. Hmm. That's pretty ingenious. Right. Let me have a few, will you? And give me some materials. I want to try making a logger for your little sparks. Ah, uh, the thinks he can create a logger that the sparks can work in, but he'll have some materials to try. Oh, okay. Okay, so you need a logger, so you need logs. But just pass on from here. <laughs> I love that he just has an automatic logger. Think about this, it's just awesome. Okay, so that's that. Hmm. He needs five stones and then he needs two of these bad boys. So let's go get two more of these bad boys. And let's go get some stone. So the big thing is, I was trying to gather boulders. Maybe throw them into the boulder. <laughs> They get all like messed up here, so I gotta throw them into rocks. And that will uh, give me what I need. I was like, why are you going crazy? I like that they pick it up and bring it to you too, look. They like play fetch for you. I love that. That's freaking awesome. Like, I have two stones, right? So I'll pick it up. And then I have three stones. See you there while I do this. I hit a little harder than him. To be fair, he's doing a great job. And I've also got this. I've also got this going over here for me already. So this is already working. Uh, a little more, a couple more sparks over here. Wherever I put it, I think it's by this big tree. There we go. So now we just gotta go over here and collect. And we got four little dudes. I don't know what spark slots are for. I guess, oh, I guess so it's automatic. Oh, that's what that makes. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, are you making another one? I think I put enough. Okay, I'm like, I think I put enough in there. There we go. I think, like, I think I put enough in there just to make four of them. That's like, where's my last guy? Oh my god, can I just like wait? Oh my gosh, I love it. I freaking love it. They like fly. You can like rapidly fire them. <laughs> you have a little army here. It's literally funny. Watch, ready. Yeah, get your get your buzz back in here. I'm just I was just kidding. Gosh, mm -hmm. calm down. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta put them in here, right? Okay, so let's deliver five. Deliver five. Then two stumpies. They can give it up, children. I need ten logs. Crap. Okay, well it's a good thing I got extra. But you always prepare for the worst. You know what I mean? Since since they're so small, they'll need a low table, and it's done. One very important thing: you need ether core to build the logger. They offset the aether and the giant trees you see. Also, you don't really need to know what that means, but let me tell you: I personally tried harvesting these giant trees without an aetheric counterbalance, and it took two whole months to grow my mustache. Mm -hmm. We first found the aetheric orb in the 
Belafonte's corpses that are around in the woodlands. I'm sure you can find more, but for now, I'll give you a few that I had to spare. Thanks, Dad. Do I have another? Oh yeah, everyone's everyone's popping up now. Like, oh, you got friends. We like friends, especially if they save us on labor. Oh. Hey, so those weird dolls are yours. The woodsman was showing them off. They follow instructions, right? Oh. And if they can carry stuff too, they can because I actually have them doing that. After seeing the woodsman show the sparks off, the quartermaster has an idea. Maybe they can give be given instructions to not just work in places, but to make them carry items from one building to another using paths. She asks for a few sparks to test it out and promises to teach you what she learned. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Let's see what they want down here, too. Oh. Well, you look at you being very busy at Bellefonte today. How would I teach you how to have an eye on things when you have lots of tasks to do? Mary tells you of the tricks that she uses to take a look at the bigger picture and figure out what to take care of next. You've created a quest overview. It should help you track your progress and identify what you have to do if you ever get stuck. Let's do it. Quest overview. Oh, so I got this one. Where well, I did. So this is my third. Oh, so to be able to do that, I need to beat the quartermaster. So the quartermaster, when I beat that, this gave me access to the quartermaster. Okay. So this gave me access to this, which moved to this. Ah, to get here, I need the quartermaster. And to get this one, I need this one done and this one done. And to get this, I need this one done and this one done. So I need to get through the quartermaster to do the rest. Okay. Makes sense. Is there someone else in town too? The Mason sisters. It looks like this is going to be a teleporter from the sign. Because it has this. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a teleporter. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to give them these three. And I'm just going to go make some more. They walk in the past. They pick up items from buildings they pass. They drop off. They, they all drop off items in the building they pass. Can oh. use them. They also pick up items on the path if it's in their way. They can only walk on the right side of the path for some reason. Here, let me show you how to make the dirt path. That's cool. Oh. Try it out. The quartermaster explains step by step what you should try to do to understand how exactly the sparks work. Build a logger. Connect logger to stumpy shrine spark. Or stumpy spark. Stump, stumpy spark shrine. Throw stumpy onto path, transport wooden log, craft a stumpy spark. Huh? Tell me how it went. Okay. Well, let's go see. Alright, so I think we have enough to build another couple stumpies, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, first things first. Let's go ahead and deposit a couple of these. Go three there, 14 there, so you can start building. And I'm not gonna go knock down one of these again. Oh no, I can't. I gotta knock down a bush, right? Yeah, I gotta knock down a bush. Hope it gives me wood. So I get to get three of them. I'm just gonna get a bunch of leaves now, you know that, right? Oh, there we go. Wood. Okay, so let's grab this. And then we'll put the one more piece of wood in there, so I get one more. And now, build menu. Dirt path costs nothing. Okay, that's cool. I need 10 wood. I need 10 wood. Oh, they have active sparks. Okay, okay. I think if I put one here, too, I think it would... Oh, that's him working on the side. I just saw that. See that? They're <laughs> rolling out. So if I collected this and put this here. Like this. It would fill that other one. Yes. And this would go faster. It would. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. They're building on top. Okay. Super freaking cool. I didn't realize the logs are like that. 
Okay. So, what we need. Let's go one here. You go there. You go there. Pick these up. One more. One more. Come on. Good job. Good job. Proud of you. Now let's throw you over here. I don't know if you could do that one. I think that's a little too big for you. No, you're good. Okay, cool. Throw that one there. I need... I just need one more log. That's it. And we're good. Cool. So now we build a harvester. Oh, it has to be on a giant tree. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So now they're permanently doing that. Yeah, they are. Interesting. Okay. So let me just put these in half. I'm going to take 20 of those. I'll just build some more of these bad boys. So now... Do I have like a chest or something that can happen? Where's my quest log? Build a logger. Connect logger to Stumpy Shrine. Wait, what's this? Play a basic place for your sport. Okay, that's what I need right there. Okay. Grab these guys. Okay, can I move this then? So wait, are you not... here i'm wrong here there's something there's something else i'm not doing this okay build a logger connect logger to stumpy shrine oh uh, that's the drop off that's the pickup ah uh ha -huh, ha uh ha -huh, ha uh ha -huh. uh -huh. All right, we're doing it now. Oh, but I, f I screwed this up again. There. 
Okay, because this way it comes in. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't do it again. Dang it. Okay, just move this. Just move this. We're moving this permanently. <laughs> the trick is. Get rid of that. That's a trick. Okay. And then this. So then I can steal one of these. And have him doing that. All right, now we're good. Now we are good, okay. This is now permanently making stumpies. <laughs> I don't know if it's permanently making stumpies like at all times, but at the least making stumpies right now. Take, I want you to take these woods too because I need wood. Alright, let me take a couple of these. Let me take one of those. So I got two of those. She nods. You explain what happened when you created the production line. Her lips relaxed in a soft and satisfied smile. Yeah. Nice. Here, take this as a gift. Thanks. And now everyone's happy with me. Ooh. All right. So I was thinking that maybe we can get these sparks to not just harvest the wood, but actually craft with it. I need quite a few lot of materials to try some different ideas, but you and the sparks can do it. A saw bench. I need a hundred wooden logs. Dang. Okay. That's a ton, but I mean, we could do it. I've been looking through my research, and it seems that these sparks are entirely unique. You're the first person to discover such a thing. What? Are you surprised that this old man can actually do some work? Divine technology is my specialty. I have you know, I've been thinking maybe we can recreate these spark machines. His eyes full of passion. is several pages full of questions as he's prepared to ask you. Oh my gosh. So we can get a spark workbench and a stumpy sp Oh... Answering literary questions about the shrine, its dimensions, connections. Hmm. I see. So it uses the same atheric energies as other divine technology. So it fairly fits other uh, older hypotheses. But replicating the actual process, well, nothing to do but try. This is true. Let's do that. I think this is going to be a good point to kind of stop, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for the Indie Buffet. Thank you to all the members and all of the subscribers to the channel. Really appreciate it. If you do want to support the channel, there are links down below, including the sub and all the... Oh. Wait, they got friends. Look, 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 he's got friends working. I love it. I'm stealing his, I'm stealing his wood. Um, if you do want to subscribe or if you want to be part of the Envy Buffet membership programs, which will be getting the videos ahead of time and uh, be able to interact with everything and get all that good stuff and emotes and all good, bunch, a bunch of good things. Check out the links down below. Other than that, folks, thank you so much for joining me for the Indie Buffet. Hope you find your next favorite indie. Peace.